the White House now and that bizarre and bitter feud between President Trump and the husband of his top advisor, Kellyanne Conway. George Conway has been criticizing the president on Twitter for months, questioning Trump's mental health in recent posts, and now Trump has fired back, calling Conway a total loser. Our senior national correspondent, Terry Moran, is in Washington with the story. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, George. It's a house divided, and to be honest, probably like many houses in the United States. Kellyanne Conway and George Conway are each highly accomplished professional people. They're a power couple here in Washington, D.C., and they just happen to disagree about the president of the United States. Kellyanne Conway, one of President Trump's most trusted and visible aides, is now caught in the center of an increasingly public and bitter feud between her boss and her husband. The president on Tuesday branded George Conway a total loser after the longtime conservative lawyer repeatedly publicly questioned the president's mental fitness. Conway replied, tweeting, congratulations, you just guaranteed that millions of more people are going to learn about narcissistic personality disorder and malignant narcissism. George Conway's rise as one of the most vocal critics of the president is a striking contrast from his wife's frequent TV appearances defending Trump. Thank you, President Trump. Here's how Kellyanne Conway handled the situation this week. Your husband has been tweeting his concerns about the president's mental fitness for office. Are those concerns that you share, or how do you deal no, with No, I don't share those concerns. And I was getting, I have four kids, and I was getting them out of the house this morning before I got here so, and talked to the president about substance. So I may not be up to speed on all of them. On Tuesday, her husband told the Washington Post he needs to get it off his chest using Twitter, quote, so I don't end up screaming at her about it. I don't think she likes it. But I don't, you know, I don't, I've told her I don't like, you know, the administration. So we're, it's even, you know, it's one of these things. He also told the Washington Post, quote, the mendacity, the incompetence, it's just maddening to watch. So that's that. And maybe there's a lesson here. The next time you're in a spat with your spouse or partner, maybe you don't take it to Twitter. George? <laughs> that's pretty good advice, Terry. Thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.